I'm Kat Kramer, and I'm honored to be a new ambassador for the New England Music Hall of Fame. Our mission statement is to promote, preserve, educate, and unite the integrity of New England music. Hi, this is Peter King with Nemhoff News. I'm here today with Joy Nash. Joy, welcome. Welcome. I am welcome. I'm so glad to be here with Nemhoff News. I'm glad that you came to my neighborhood to come see me, and uh, I'm looking forward to you guys hanging around in South Florida and us having a great time. That's great. Hey, can you tell me about your business? Uh, my business is actually not just fitness anymore. I've really expanded into a whole another level of wellness and life coaching but I go way back into my fitness experience because I started off at a very young age with my mom being a very physically fit and and then I was introduced to muscle and fitness with Corey Everson and uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Lou Ferrigno all the great wow that's yeah pretty impressive. yeah yeah so that's where I became that was that was when my when my era came um, I was in that that whole bodybuilding, you know, um, fitness era, and that was my go-to for stress. So it was um, a really amazing experience. <laughs> yeah. So when I was 19, I started training, um, actually a, a pregnant woman, but at the end to uh, prepare her, get her flexible and, you know, ready for her delivery. And then after that, her whole body transformed. And that just really got me excited to get my certification, personal training, and then it went on to just training with all different athletes. So it's skyrocketing for you. Yeah, and then I went. I got my certification um, in other um, modalities with uh, sports and injuries and such. And I have an, a degree in holistic health, so it really broadens my understanding of more than just the basic fitness. So all the pieces of the puzzle all went together, and this is where you exactly, are now, and how you become the person exactly. you are now. That's awesome. So fitness for joy, it's fitness, you know, joy, but it's fitness of your mind, fitness of your body, fitness of your soul. Uh, everything has to have that joy, you know, without your joy, you don't have any strength. So that's why you see me smiling and giving the smiles and joy through my business and through, you know, um, the different things that I'll be getting into very, very soon. Great. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about your involvement with pro wrestling? Yes, the Mad Dogs of War. I am so excited about this. I'm going to be a, a valet for Christopher and my best friend Angel and awesome Gary. I am totally stoked since Gary is just an amazing uh, wrestler and he's he has earned his keep in the pro wrestling. So I'm really excited to be all with these with this group, you know and. Just the journey that we're going to go on is very exciting, especially since the, you know I'm uh, over 40. And, uh, <laughs> You're looking, looking you pretty know, amazing. So, to, you know, you know it, this whole thing is all working. Yes, your, your, I'm very excited. Your businesses, yes. your your best friend, the wrestling. That's yes. amazing. Um, I want to thank you again for today yes, for this interview. For it's awesome, awesome. I appreciate it. it was a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so you much. This is Peter Kenyon signing off from Nemhoff News. I just can say, honestly, say I love being a part of it. I love being a part of that culture. It's such a welcoming culture. It's a growing, growing culture as well. Where more, more and more people are honoring, are understanding it, understanding, you know, the meaning that is behind all this drumming and the meaning of communication and gathering together as a community. Be in this area. But I ended up getting involved in Circle. Um, I went on Valentine's Day, I was totally single. The moment that I walked in, I met people. And from that moment on, I met people and they were so friendly and it was an amazing experience from day one. stories that I have that how it touches people's lives and how it just um, affects people even someone in their 90s who has Alzheimer's disease um, I have some awesome stories with the older generation where they share where you know these two ladies came in and they brought um, 
a special friend who was in his 90s. He has Alzheimer's and he really was the type of person who kind of just, you know, had no expression. But for some reason, when he came to my circle that night, his spirit came alive and he started drumming and he had this big smile on his face. And this is one of the most beautiful stories I have to share. And it actually brought me to tears because it's like, for some reason, something woke up in him and, uh, and they can't explain it. I can't explain it, but it's something where drumming and music just reaches people. And that was like a really cool story that I have. But anyway, um, I get emotional when I tell that story because it's something really real and true. And I, and it's a real experience that I have with music but there's so much of that in this community and I love being a part of it and being um, a leader in a sense, but I'm growing in that leadership position and I'm growing daily and becoming better. And anyway, that's all I have to say, but thanks so much.